What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're going to take a look at um, Athena from Eternals from Hot Toys and you can pre-order this figure at bigbadtoystore.com I'll put the link down below uh, what can I let's let's start with this I haven't seen the movie I'm waiting I'm well I, I I don't think it's in I don't think it's in theaters anymore right I mean it shouldn't be it's been a while so I am just gonna wait for this in Disney plus I've heard some not so good things about it specifically will he didn't like it so my verdict is i'm probably gonna love it uh, <laughs> since will didn't like it but you know i've heard some mixed things about it mostly bad but with that being said i we were streaming last night and i was just like you know what i'm not even gonna you know do a preview for this and i was just like no yeah that's not fair. You know, it's, it doesn't mean that I haven't seen the movie. I can't, you know, look at this as a figure. There's certain figures that I didn't like the movie, but I love the figure. You know, one of them was Hellboy. Not particularly fun of that movie, but hey, that one is one of the best figures that I've ever seen. Um, it, you know, it too wasn't the best that I've seen, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Certainly not Hellboy. I like it one better, but you know just judging from the prototype it looks like i'm gonna love the figure but then again you know that's kind of looks like one anyway so i'm looking at this and okay i was just like all right let's look at the positives and the negatives here all right first and foremost it looks like the head sculpt at least from now from certain angles it looks great it looks like angelina jolie on certain angles now let's go to the hair um i've seen this kind of hair before on Asmus Legolas, where his hair is just blonde with no dynamics to it. When what I mean by that is there's no highlights, there's no shadows, it just looks flat. Hot Toys is so much better in paint application than Asmus. So I'm surprised that, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the movie it's just really like this. Maybe it's just a platinum blonde. I don't, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm not a big fan of just kind of like a flat blonde but maybe it is accurate you know I'm, I'm looking at pictures right now they could have used a little shadows in here here and there but hey not a big deal right uh it looks like initially i was just like man this this figure is not going to be able to move her head because of the hair being sculpted and draping down her shoulders however on certain scenes or certain pictures here, man, they got her lips. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed that. Like the forehead is kind of long, but yeah, hey, you know, it's 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 there. Like this picture right here, it, it looks it looks like they capture her like her likeness. Now she got she got decent amount of accessories. You know, it, it, it is what it is. I didn't see the rock though, where she's standing on the rock, not the rock, but there's like a rock she's standing on. So they didn't include that. Price wise. Hey, it looks like that's just the normal price of Hot Toys nowadays, right? Like this pose right here. Look at her hair. I thought you wouldn't be able to move that. Now her shoulders are up and the hair just kind of moves. So is it, I'm guessing it's a soft hair. Uh, initially, I thought you could, you know, remove the hair. It looks like a removable piece and you can just insert it right away. But it looks like it's soft enough that you could kind of maneuver it around, you know, if you are turning her head or her shoulders because that those hair dripping down her shoulders are really not good for you know dynamic poses. However, judging from those pictures, it looks like you can you know achieve some movements anyway. Again, I mean those are shots, beautiful head sculpt. Now the armor, it it doesn't complement her. I mean it looks like she has big thighs in here. I I don't know man. Like it it looks like one of those Kardashian you know suits that they wear. I don't know. I, I always thought that Angelina Jolie is more of a like a skinny person, but I, may, maybe it's the armor itself that's making her look a little bulky. Um, just the way it's constructed, I see. You know, like there's ankle pivot there. You know, I can I can tell. Uh, she has some high heels on. I, I wonder how her how she would stand by herself. You know, w w without any uh, stance for photography and whatnot. Um. Other than that, it looks pretty solid. Is this something that I would get? M most likely not. You know, I a I haven't seen the movie, and b even if I did, I I probably wouldn't be interested enough to get a figure of her. 
you know, if you're a fan of the movie or of the series, go ahead because I I don't. Some guys who've seen this are guessing, you know, they're gonna make two or three, uh, and that might be enough. You know, if you like the movie, just a representation of Eternals. I doubt they're gonna complete the lineup. That's you know, that's too many roster in there. And let's be honest, I don't think they're gonna be that hot in the um, in the toy community. They just don't look like a you know like a superhero toy. Or I guess the movie was just not is polarizing enough that it might you know suffer on the sales end. But you never know. You know, I mean, is this a better head sculpt than Maleficent? I would say so. You know that, and that is a pretty solid figure. So if you are you know, and look at the back part right there as well. Uh, if you're a fan of the movie or the character or even Angelina. Here you go. You know, at least you got a shot at getting her. Uh, you might get a couple of more, you know, characters from the from the line, but that might be it. You know, so again, for me, if I get her right, let's say she went on a on a, a nice clearance. Uh, she's currently two seventy, so you're looking at around three hundred out the door here. So let's say no one bought her and she went all the way down to two hundred. Sounds tempting, right? I mean, she's not a bad figure. Not not at all. Look at the head sculpt. It looks like it's movable anyway. However, in, in the grand scheme of display, who would you really pair her, her up with? You know, at least in my, I, I'm looking at my collection right now and now I'm thinking, all right, let's say I bought her for 200. Who should, you know, who am I going to display her with? And I, I can't answer that, you know? So, yeah, this is, as of, as of the moment, or maybe in the foreseeable future, this is a pass for me, you know. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts, um, not only on, you know, the movie itself, but the figure. Is this something you're, it might interest you? Or if not, you know, if you're one in the, in the camp where you didn't like the movie, I think the figure is good enough, right? Good enough. Uh, is this something that you would, because uh, it's unique, right? Is this something that would even you know, kind of tickle your fancy uh, for the right price. And by the right price, you let me know in the comments what that would be. Or is this an easy pass through and through? So yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this figure. And once again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.